in case of DFA, every input string leads to a unique state of finite automata. That means we'll not be having any kind of determinism. In case of NFA, for some inputs, there can be more than one next states, which we have seen in the previous case. Now, in case of DFA, the conversion of regular expression to DFA is complex. See, uh, you don't know, I am assuming that you don't have any idea about regular expressions. So, uh, just you can leave this point, but if you have any, if you have, if you know what is a linear expression, uh, regular expression, then you can uh, consider this point. So, we'll be discussing about regular expression after some, uh, you know, some uh, lectures. Uh, uh, not uh, see uh, after this topic we are going to con uh, discuss about uh, you know epsilon NFA then epsilon NFA we are going to discuss about regular expressions okay so uh, but, but see still see the ex conversion of regular expression to DFA is very complex but the conversion of regular expression to an equivalent NFA is very simple and which uh, there are different you know uh, rules or di different ways to convert a regular expression to a re uh, equivalent NFA and that you can convert that NFA to a DFA okay and DFA require more memory for st storing the st uh, state information obviously the number of states in a DFA see the number of states number of states in DFA is greater than or equal to the number of states in NFA in general in general you can obviously create an NFA with a with the redundant states but generally what happens is if you minim, uh, draw a minimized NFA if you draw a minimized DFA then the number of uh, states in a DFA is always greater than or equal to the number of states in case of NFA so uh, because N we have more number of states in case of DFA so uh, to store th those state information we are going to require more, more memory in case of DFA but in case of NFA, because we will be having less number of states, so we will be requiring less memory as well as we are going to require less computation to check uh, to which state we are going to. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Now, a DFA is not possible to move next state without reading any symbol. So in case of NFA, we have two types of NFAs. Number one is NFA without epsilon transition. Second one is NFA with epsilon transition. We have an NFA without epsilon transition, without epsilon transition. And we can also make an NFA with epsilon transition, with epsilon transition, with epsilon transition. Okay, so uh, we can make an NFA with epsilon transition. Therefore, uh, in case of NFA, it is possible that we can move to the next state without even seeing any symbol. But in case of N uh, DFA, it is not possible. Okay, so let us do one thing. Let us take a few more examples of NFA and how to convert those NFAs to DFAs. We will see. Okay, so uh, let us take one more example of NFA. Assume we are drawing an NFA which uh, should accept the strings which are containing 101 as substring so language is containing 101 as substring see i'm writing in shortcut because uh, i don't want to waste time in writing the complete length you know sentences so uh, we are writing 101 as substring so how can you make an nfa for this initial state is a you can get any number of zeros or one in starting as soon as get you get 1 and then get 0 and then you get 1 therefore it is accepted so we go to final state and then we can have any number of a's and b's so state this is state b this is state c and this is state d this is representing an equivalent this is representing an nfa and you know that we uh, we have drawn an equivalent dfa for this but um, can let us con uh, you know convert this nfa to a DFA. Sorry, this is uh, one zero and one, not AB. This is zero comma one. So let us convert this NFA to an equivalent DFA. So we have two symbols which are zero and one, zero and one. The states are A, B, C, and D. Initial state is A and final state is D. On state A, if we see a symbol zero, then we are going to state A only. If we see a symbol B1, then we are going to state A as well as we are going to state B. So we are going to state A, comma, we are going to two states. 
if we are at state B, if we see a symbol 0, then we are going to state C. If we are at state B, if we see a symbol 1, then we are going to state which is 5 or we can say empty state. In state C, if we see a symbol 0, then we are going to 5 state. In state C, if we see a symbol 1, then we are going to state D. In case of D, if we see a symbol 0 and 1, in both the cases we are going to state D itself. Now, let us make an equivalent DFF on this. So, the best way is do like this 0 and 1, and the initial state is A. See, in any way, if, if you uh, want to convert any DF NFA to DFA, any NFA to DFA, then what you can do is take the first state only. Don't consider these states at all in, in beginning. Take the first state only. The first state is A. And then expand the variables which are given here. For example, in A, on 0 we are going to state A. On A, on 1 we are going to state A comma V. So combine them, make one single state. So it will be AB. Now, we defined which is A, but we have not defined which is what is AB. So let us define what is AB. So how will you define? Take A, take B, and you take a union of these two. So if you take a union of these two, then it will become AC. It will become AC. If you take a union of these two, then it will become AB. It will become AB. So we have defined what is AB. We defined what is A, but we have not defined what is AC. So let us write AC here. So for A, C, take a union of A and C. If we take a union of these two, union of A and phi is A. Union of A, B and D is A, B, D. So it is A, comma A, B and D. So we define what is A, but we have not defined what is A, B, A, B, D. So we write A, B, D here. So ABD take union of A, B and D. So it is A, C and D. It is A, C and D. It is A, B and D. So A, B and D. We defined what is A, B, D but we have not defined what is A, C, D. So let us write A, C, D. Take the union of these three states. A, C and D. So A and D. The first union is A, D. And the second union is A, B, D. So it is A, B, D. So we defined what is A, B, D, but we have not defined what is A, D. So let us write A, D. That means take the union of A and D. So that means you get A, D, you get A, D, and you get A, B, D. So we get A, B, D. Okay, so is there any state which we have not defined? We have defined everything. Now here D was the final state, so wherever we are going to get D, we will make it a final state. So this is a final state, this is a final state, and this is a final state. So let us try to draw this one. Initially, we are at state A, we have a state AB, we have a state AC, we have a state ABD, we have a state ACD, and we have a state AD. We have a state as you AD. On A, if we see a symbol 0, then we go to the state A itself. On A, if we see a symbol 1, then we go to the state AB. On AB, if we see a symbol 0, then we go to AC. On AB, if we see a symbol 1, then I'm going to AB itself. On AC, if we see a symbol 0, then we go to A. On AC, if we see a symbol 1, then we go to ABD. On ABD, if you see a symbol 0, then we go to ACD. Then we go to ACD. On ABD, if you see a symbol 1, then we go to ABD. On ACD, if you see a symbol 0, then we go to AD. On ACD, if you see a symbol 1, then we go to ABD. On AD, if you see a symbol 0, then we go to AD. On AD, if you see a symbol 1, then we go to ABD. And here the final states are ABD, ACD and AD. So, this is the final state, this is the final state, as well as this is the final state. Now, let us see if it accepts the string which is 101. Assume we get the string which is 10101000, right. So, now the, in this string, we have 101 as substring. So, that should be accepted. 
that means if we get zero so we are going to from a to a if we get one more zero we are going from a to a if we get one more zero then we are going to get a to a if we get one then from a we are going to a b again by seeing this zero from a b we are going to a c again seeing by the symbol one then we are going from a c to a b d that means it is accepted and then we have zero we are going to a c d we have one we are going to a b d if we again see a zero then we go to state a c d right so here you can see there are more than one final states but when whenever you are converting an nfa to a dfa it is, does not guarantee that you are always going to get a minimized dfa for example here in this case you can see we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 we have six states but it does not guarantee that this is the minimum number of states you can get you can get even less number of states which we will discuss uh, how to minimize a given DFA but when I'm, whenever you are converting an NFA to DFA you may get a minimal DFA or you may not get a minimal DFA for example here in this case we are not getting a minimal DFA but in the previous examples which we have done in those cases we were getting a minimal DFA so converting an NFA to DFA is a very simple process but uh, if you even if you follow that process it does, does not guarantee that you will get a minimal DFA okay so uh, let us see how to convert a given uh, DFA to a minimal DFA or you can say how to minimize a given DFA.